A vein pump is a positive displacement pump that uses a set of veins installed on a rotor to transfer the fluid. It has the ability to deliver a constant flow rate under different pressure conditions. It is known as a vein pump because it pressurizes the fluid due to the impact of the veins. This pump has a different number of veins installed on a rotor. This rotor rotates in a chamber or cavity to pump the fluid. An electric motor or engine is most commonly used to drive the rotor. As the rotor rotates, the veins mounted on the rotor slide in and out of the rotor slots. The pump also has a pressure relief valve that stops the extra pressure build up inside the pump. The latest vein pumps have a surface contact between the stator and rotor instead of line contact. Vein pumps are not suitable for highly viscous fluids. The vein pump can handle fluids with medium viscosity and is best suitable for handling liquids with low viscosity, such as alcohols, solvents, ammonia, and LPG. The vein pump has the following components. Casing. Inlet port. Cam ring. Outlet port. Veins. Rotor. Shaft. The vein pump has the following components. Casing. The casing is one of the most important parts of the rotary vein pump. It provides safety to all the internal components of your pump. It prevents the internal parts, such rotor, shaft, sliding veins, etc., from any damage due to the external source. 2. Inlet port. This port uses to suck the fluid into the pump. It works as a one-way valve. 3. Outlet port. After pressurizing the fluid, the pump discharges the fluid through the outlet port. It also works as a one-way valve. 4. Shaft. A shaft is connected to an electric motor or engine. This motor delivers power to the shaft and rotates the shaft. This shaft is further connected to the rotor. When the shaft rotates, it further turns the rotor. 5. Rotor. It is the most important part of the pump, which play a big role in fluid suction and pressurization. It connects with the shaft. The rotor rotates according to the rotation of the shaft. It has multiple veins. When the rotor rotates, it creates a vacuum inside the pump due to that pump sucks fluid. 6. Veins. The veins of the vein pump are mounted on the rotor. The main objective of the veins is to convert the kinetic energy of the fluid into its speed. These veins have a rectangular shape. Sliding veins are present in the slots of the rotor. 7. Cam ring. This ring is installed on the inner wall of the pump housing. Gear pump has the following major types. Advantages of vein pump. The pumps have self-priming capability. These have a robust design. They deliver a constant supply of fluid at a given speed. A rotary vein pump delivers a continuous delivery with negligible pulsation. They don't need to check valves. These pumps have lightweight. These have a robust and compact design. They have high volume trick efficiency and overall efficiency. This positive displacement pump can control fluids having gases and vapors. They have low vibration and noise levels. These have easy maintenance. They provide a pulsating free flow. These are best for a wide range of applications. Disadvantages of vein pump It requires a relief valve to prevent the pump from a sudden stoppage of the fluid delivery. These types of pumps aren't appropriate for abrasive fluids. A rotary vein pump requires a good seal. These pumps need a top quality filtration system because foreign particles can cause pump failure. These have a complex design of housing and many other components. These pumps are not best for high viscosity or high pressure applications. Thanks for watching.